Hi guys, welcome back to World Mouse Workshop. I'm not doing any scrapping out today, not doing any gold recovery. Today I am in the camper van. So this has been uh, an ongoing project for quite a while now, uh, but it's gone through, this is its second renovation as it were. Um, so yeah, I'll give you a quick guided tour. <coughs> so it's a short wheelbase. And then so as we go down I'll go down one side so again so uh, there we go storage on top now these are just pallet wood doors pretty straightforward a couple of pallets and to get that effect on them just do a really light sand with either a belt sander or a pad sander and then I've gone over them well, these I've gone over with wax and I should have oiled them really but it gives them that uh, smooth uh, matte finish um, and then just a couple of draw pull handles on them so not massive matte storage but it, uh, it suits us uh, back onto the, onto the worktop now this is a this is a reclaimed flooring oak worktop so it's been planed down ever so slightly and then sanded and then I've done a bull nose on the edge these are to be filled in bull nose on the edge to make it look a bit thicker onto the hob a bit of a whistle stop tour this because uh, oh, no, I need to crack on really yes yeah, so two burners and the sink in there and then that all nicely compacts away uh, worked up all the way through there and then into the fridge here gonna be some storage up there with a vent in it uh, and then we go this this section here looking in is the toilet and into the toilet we have a little cupboard there uh, access for cables and anything down the back and then towels and whatever here so obviously there's going to be a door on the front here uh, and then at the back I'm gonna have probably put a stable door on kind of thing and then if ever we need to we can open the back up and be able to either put long things in I'll just be able to access from the back. That'd be easier to take the toilet out of the back as well. Now bunk beds. So this is my oldest daughter's bunk bed at the top. This is a six foot one. I'll, I'll explain why we've, uh, it's in the state it is. Um, and then youngest daughter under there. And then look at these drawers used out the existing van that I did up. Uh, and then there's going to be another drawer on top and then blocks off and then we're going to have storage at the back there. So the, what I'm going to try and do is put a picture of before I even started the refurb uh, and then phase one and then phase two. So I'll try and put some pictures in now if I can. Um, so hopefully you've seen the pictures um, as it was as a minibus and then the first uh, <laughs> first era of the um, the camper van it, it, it was a great bed uh, a nice little space but we weren't using it the best way so this now we've um, we've looked at a couple of other vans and we're hoping we're hoping this this is already working better as we've all been in it just walking around so that place there is going to be where our bed is and that's going to be a bit of a chew trying to sort that out but um that's probably the next next area i'm going to drop on i've just got a bit of all this is going to be tiled here up, up to there and this wood affects uh, would affect this timber probably going to move up there make it look, look a bit uh, different uh yeah get door on hopefully today right uh, that's basically it really what um, yeah it's, uh, just to go a recap on them these the white has come out on these I wish I'd have oiled them because it's, it's just not the finish I wanted that's gonna come off as well that's that's just a temporary thing the finisher is just not really what I wanted I wanted more like more like that one I mean I won't get the exact same finish because the, the doors at the top are oak but um, 
yeah so oh, a little bit of storage at the front as well I utilized the middle box so that's that's actually the double box that uh, both seats sat on uh, so took the top off sorry took the seats off we got two new captain seats so second hand captain seats and modified it and then put some thick angle bracket angle iron on the base and bolted about six screws into them so these rotate and then we can we have the table here coming off that uh, that there across here and then the girls can sit down and eat and we we can sit in those two and eat and it's nice on an evening when you've got all the blinds down this is one of them here it should work there we go there's not enough space those are my little blind guides I made up uh, I've got the other one to go in there in fact I don't think it'll fit now which is just, I've just thought about damn it yeah, it's supposed to be there. there's the brackets damn it ok right there's something else to do yeah so that table I'm not right happy about it being there it rattles as we're driving along it looks unsafe but there's four brackets on either corner two brackets on that one sorry and then a a toby one on that side so it can't actually move but it's just a bit a bit unsightly and a bit clanky so we will have to find a place for it uh aircon uh diesel heater and aircon there it came with the minibus so i just adapted it same as the lights up there they came with the minibus when we got it and just stripped them out they were in the luggage compartment stripped them out and then um, put them in when i needed them really uh, skylight that was in when we uh, we got it. It was uh, a nice addition to the van. Just lets a bit more light in, and uh, but it does warm up quite fast. But yeah, all the um, the walls are fully insulated, so there's like a, a rock wall in the uh, sides. It's not actually a rock wall. I can't remember what it is. And there's I think it's yeah inch in the ceiling, or maybe two inch in the ceiling, and I've got inch in the floor, king span. Uh, three quarter board over the top on the ceiling there's about six mil um, and it keeps it nice and toasty warm surprisingly warm actually and then if we block that sunroof up it keeps it pretty cool in the, in the heat as well so yeah just a quick vid and uh, hopefully I'll update you when I'm a bit further on and you can see some tiles on, doors on and a bit more of a complete project yeah, I'll crack on. All right, cheers, guys.